Good morning, guys. I wanted to make a video, um, a part two to the Noah and the rapture parallels. So I have some questions. How long did it take Noah and his family to load the ark? Was Methuselah's death a seven-day warning before the flood rain started? Will the destruction of Damascus be a seven-day warning before the rapture of the church? And what does Methuselah, what is the meaning of his name? Does it point to the rapture? I've taken time to look, it would have taken time to load the ark. This was the seven days, I believe, before the flood started. And you can find your answer in Genesis 7, 13 through 16. The possible meaning for Methuselah's name is their death sends or his death sends. He died before the flood and it was a prophecy. Was it a prophecy? Could have been. His death will send the flood. And I will post um, two articles where I got some information from in the comment section of the video. Some more things to consider. And th these are things I've, you know, spoken with my friends about and we went over um, the other night, actually, um, before Damascus was bombed by Israel in several places. It was actually really interesting when my friends asked me, do you think that Damascus will be the next place to get hit? And I said, yes. And then we woke up the next morning and we were all like, oh my gosh, look what happened, you know? Um, it's amazing when you pray to God and he orders your steps where he'll take you in, in his word. Cause you're gonna, you, you find it's all here. It's all there. So look at Damascus and what just happened. Israel is going to go after their city. It is Isaiah 17 prophecy, 17 verses one. And I'm going to go ahead and read that verse. The burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city and it shall be a ruinous heap. So again, I ask that you use discernment and you ask the Holy Spirit to guide your steps and study God's word, study the meat of God's word. Because it, I really do believe that the rapture is close and I really do believe that it has to do with the flood. God is the same, always. So with the flood, that he promised would never happen again was in the beginning and the bookend would be the rapture and tribulation. One thing I did want to go over on this, which I did put in the community on my YouTube, this this uh, month calendar, this is after the flood. So pre-flood, November would have been month two. Now it is month eight. So I just wanted to make that clear too, um, in case anyone had any questions about that. But again, love each other, pray for one another. I pray that all souls come to the knowledge and saving grace of Jesus Christ. It is so important right now that we get the gospel out, which is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And we share the love of Jesus. I've seen a lot of fighting still in the body of Christ, uh, which, is, which is sad. Um, I, I just don't see why it has to be that way. Um, the most important thing is that we know Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. We know that he is everything. And you, once you believe on him, you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And he is, no one can pluck you from God's hand. That's what matters is to get saved and to know the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I don't think we really have to fight over the other things. Um, I think that we can all love each other and be respectful and study. And that's, that's the thing. We're the body of Christ and we're all coming together and 
We're studying his word and trying to figure it out. We're watch women and watchmen, and that's what Jesus wants. He wants us to, to get into this word and study and spend time with him, and that's what matters most. So I, I, I wanted to say that because I feel, I feel that's really important. Um, you may not always agree with a brother and sister in Christ, but let's do uh, have empathy for each other and love for each other. And, you know, there's no need to call each other out um, publicly like some people have been doing. I think it's in poor taste. Um, and especially going after a specific person and using their name or their photo or what have you. Um, I just, I don't agree with that. It's, it's hate. And, and that's the thing. That's what the enemy wants is for us to fight over doctrine and gospel and the word of God. And we can't, we can't let that happen. We just can't because what's the point? Jesus said to love your brother. And if Jesus can do it, we can do it. So just keep praying for each other and loving each other and having a positive attitude. And remember that God's timing is perfect. He's never early and he's never late. And consider the questions that I asked in this part two video and go and study it for yourself. I suggest, you know, Robert Breaker, he's great. Chuck Missler videos, JD Farag. There's so many out there that know God's word really well. And whether people want to admit it or not, the pre-tribulation rapture is doctrine. It is written all throughout scripture. And why wouldn't you want to be raptured? And be with Jesus Christ forever. That's a question you have to ask yourself. You know, that's why we want to save people to Jesus. Because we don't want anyone to have to go through the tribulation. And we have to also remember that God created free will. So once we've planted the seeds, you give it to God. And he is the ultimate power. He is... God of all and the creator of all. And we need to trust in him. I love each and every single one of you. Have a great day.